are at Contra and I'm here with Chef Jeremiah Stone and today we are talking about how to properly sharpen your knife. So this is a topic on which everyone has a knife but most people never sharpen their knives to begin with. So like what is the basics of what you need to uh, sharpen your knife? Well you need a knife which is number one and uh, and then a sharpening stone which yeah. is um, Basically, uh, a stone, we call this a whetstone, mm. that um, is soaked in water. Mm. Um, and that is usually, com that, that usually comes in different grits. Um, here we have a stone, um, this, is, uh, this is also from Chubo, and I'm going to sharpen a, a gyutu. So this is a, a standard chef's knife, which is you know, used for slicing, cutting, chopping. It's your everyday knife. And so for people who say like, but wait a minute, I have a sharpening steel that came with my awesome knife set that I bought. Like, why is the stone the thing to use rather than the steel? Well, a stone is, uh, is something to sharpen a knife with. And a steel is actually, it's just a honing mm -hmm. uh, instrument. And um, so if you have a, a knife, um, there are tiny little variations in the blade that you can't see and it's like wobbly and so what, what a steel does is it brings those back in line mm -hmm. but it doesn't sharpen it and uh, and also it damages um, a fine Japanese uh, steel knife and a, a stone is something you can use every day I think sometimes people are intimidated by it because they think right. well you know they don't know the technique but you really want to use a stone um, before and after you use a knife, mm. um, at least in, in, in some way, and then every once a week to really spend some time and sharpen your knives. And so what are the kinds of knives that really deserve that kind of attention? Because obviously your generic knives at home, maybe not, but tell me a little bit about the knives that you have. As yeah, well, why so, do you need a stone? So all these, you know, all these knives are um, you know, really great products because um, the steel is high quality. They're very sharp, and uh, so there's different uh, type of knives. There's knives that are 50-50, which mm -hmm. is an equal um, blade which you sharpen the same way, and then some are 80-20 or 70-30, which are called one-sided, um, and those are more leaning towards a very Japanese style. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you use? Uh, I use a bit of a mix of both, but a lot of them 50-50, so uh, what's really popular now is um, knives that are kind of this in-between a Western and a Japanese style, mm -hmm. um, and so a chef's knife like this is um, a good everyday where you have, it's a Japanese steel, it's 50-50, it's pretty easy to sharpen. Um, and so I have a stone that's um, uh, a thousand grit, which is a good you know, place to start. It's right there in the middle. It can, you know, stones can be as low as 100 or 300 or as high as 5,000 or 8,000. And how do you uh, pick? Um, so a thousand would be good for uh, you know, using couple times a week mm. and then something like a uh, if you use if you really keep up your knives and something like a 3000 yeah. would be something just to kind of keep it uh, finely tuned mm. so you use that before and after right. but when you really want to sharpen it use the thousand mm. and if there's some damage to the knife you know you do something lower like a three or five hundred to build back up um, sure. that's really gonna yeah it's gonna eat into the steel a little bit more but it'll help um, get some of those nicks and dings out all right, so what do we start with here? So we have um, our stone, we have a We have a stone towel. and it's on a, on a, you know, you can use a tea towel or something that's a little bit wet mm -hmm. just to keep it in place so it's not moving around. Right. Uh, which is important and you want to make sure though that it's very level. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you have a, a stone where the stone itself is not level or something is underneath, maybe you have, right. you know, a piece of food or something where the towel's not flat, the stone is not going to um, sharpen food it. food items, yeah. Yeah, random food <laughs> items might not... And you kept it in water. Why is that important? Um, so it absorbs the water and that kind of helps the process of, of sharpening it. Um, okay. So that fills in the tiny little holes mm -hmm. in the stone. Um, and, and it's called a wet stone for that reason. So it needs to be soaked until you see the bubbles mm -hmm. uh, go away. But you don't want to soak it too long because it could make the stone brittle. And if you soak it for two days, it might crack a lot easier. So how long do you typically um, soak it? Usually, it usually soaks for about um, 30 minutes or 40 minutes or so. Um, so the first thing I do is I get in, soak it in water, and you'll see these little bubbles start to uh, go to the surface. And once that stops, the stone's ready to use. You're ready to go. Um, and you can, have, you can just use the water from here to mm -hmm. keep it wet or a squeeze ball or something of water. And uh, so you want to make sure that it's wet and at the same time um, 
your knife is nice and dry. And uh, so I would start with, there's, there's two things that you need to sharpen, which is the blade mm -hmm. and then the tip. Um, so sharpening the blade, um, you're gonna start with about you know, two coins, like two or three pennies, depending on um, what kind of, the, the higher you have the knife, mm -hmm. you're gonna have a, a pretty sharp knife for a shorter amount of time. So you wanna keep the angle pretty low, so two pennies is, is a good width to have it off of the stone. And then you wanna make sure that you have an even amount of pressure on the blade. Um, and you go the whole distance of the blade, of the stone rather, and moving the blade up, just using your fingers to keep the, the pressure the same. How do you know that you're doing it right? How do you know that you're actually sharpening it or it's not too high or too low? Is it just practice or is there kind of a feel? That yeah, this have? practice is also like, um, you know, again, just like cutting something, you have to have a very strong grip on the, on the blade and right. feel very comfortable with it. So if you see that it's wobbling, Right. You know, then you know it's not going to have an even. Mm. That's so. What, what I do is start off with just going back and forth with the same spot a couple of times, and if you feel that the the blade is is pretty steady, yeah, then I would continue, and then that's when you can start to go the whole distance and just using your fingers. You're going to notice that it's getting sharper because you're going to feel it, and you're going to see that you know you're making some progress. Right. Um, and this is a 50/50 knife, so you can do both sides, and same thing, just using your fingers to hold the, the, net, the, the knife steady and work the whole distance of the stone. And then wiping it, because so, you have all this um, filament from the, and this is actually little tiny pieces of metal from, right. from your blade that you want to wipe off. Um, otherwise that could also damage um, the quality of the knife and the finish. And just um, getting it wet, I mean, is important to not let your blade stay wet for too long or put it in the dishwasher. And yeah, like absolutely. So sharpening your knife, um, you know, obviously it's coming in, in, in uh, especially when you're, you're, you're cleaning it like this. I mean, you're sharpening it like this. Um, you want to clean your knife really well afterwards because you don't want to transfer the little pieces of metal to your food. Mm. So you wipe off your blade and then wash it by hand. You put it in the dishwasher, it's really going to bang it up and destroy all that yeah. the work you've done. Right. And also the handles are, um, you know, a lot of times, whether they're wood or bone, mm -hmm. um, they, don't, they don't work well on the machine. They're not made for a dishwasher. Yeah, so a very mild soap um, is good to use mm -hmm. and mostly just water and being very careful with cleaning because a lot of times, you know, people will cut themselves more cleaning their knives than they right. will actually cutting something. Right. So just wiping it off um, with a towel and making sure that um, you know it stays very dry. If you have a, a knife that's that's wet and it has something like um, a carbon steel, it's going to rust, and you're going to have um, some stains to that knife. Um, so that's that's the way you sharpen the blade. And the other part is just to sharpen the tip. So the tip you go at a much higher angle, and you're going to go into like a sweeping motion. And this is only for the tip because it's a very uh, severe way of sharpening the blade so this is the best way to bring back a really pointy edge mm. um, which is good to to get into some small little vegetables at times and you want to make sure you have a, a very straight tip because if the tip is dinged sometimes it gets banged into something and you have a really sharp blade you'll right. find that you're cutting into something and then it's tearing yeah, at the very the end thing. yep wonderful well thank you so much for teaching us how to properly sharpen our knives and keep them up to snuff really appreciate you taking the time thanks so much